He he oh you mechanical maniacs, how's it going? Her squeeze right here. Welcome back to another episode of Rot to Rad. This is where we go out to the junkyard, we bring something back into our shop, and we make it into something radical. Um, this Mustang right here is one of these um side project jobs of his doing, and I've been sitting here staring at the 20 inch wheels I put on the back of it. 20 inch wheels look a little big in my opinion. Um I may have to reduce that down to probably an 18. Uh, or maybe even a 19 probably looks a little bit better than the 20. I don't know yet. Uh, still playing around with it. Uh, still got some of this. I'm going to keep the red interior. This will be white with black stripes. Red interior with a red uh, underneath. If you can take a look underneath here. Uh, yeah. Everything underneath here is red. Um, so, and not just a straight red. This is like a, a darkened red, like an 80% red. So if you went to the color, the color box, it would be the red. And then I, I toned it down to about 80%. But, um, yeah, that's what we're doing with the Mustang. So out here, um, bring you to this little beast right here, this Royale Town. Um, honestly, I thought that this was going to be a big cell car, to be honest. It's just a little putzer. Uh, not, nothing, you know, all that great. Um, does have like the teal, I, I, I rent the teal all the way through, uh, underneath and all the way back, uh, for, but for a vote for, of uh, three to two, um, guys have me keep it. So, um, thanks a lot. And, uh, we're going to take that right now. We're going to move that over into the parking area. There we go. Uh, it's not going to show up over there across the street yet because I have not added any more. Um, and, um, Underrated gave me a great idea for the signs out here. So thank you, Underrated. Um, I will be getting to work. This will be my logo. Um, but these two right here will be Rod to Rad and will be Barn Bargains. Um, I just have to I have to create them and then I have to put them up there. But that is a great idea, Underrated, and I will be doing that. So stay tuned for future episodes of those signs changing in the very near future. All right, so now we're going to do what we came here to do right you came here to watch me tear apart something from the junkyard and make it into something uh radical so let's go to the junkyard and see what we have for us today all right let's see what we have out here shall we okay so some of the rules that i have for this is this uh it has to be a car we haven't done before uh if we have done it before it gives me a second chance to do it if it was one that was a, a sale item right um 111 for a Mustang. It's almost a given as it's going to be a sell, but 111,000 miles. I haven't done one of those. This is a Moonhawk uh, drag version, 157,000 miles. And that's one of the other uh, criteria that I have. It has to be under 150,000 miles. So, so far, the Mustang is the only one. Uh, the Chrysler 300C SRT8. Have not done this. This is a new DLC, 70,000 miles kind of have a, a good idea what I want to do with that right off the bat. I really do. I think that I think I've found my my winner winner chicken dinner there. Uh, Porsche Yellowbird. I uh, don't know if we've done the Yellowbird, but I think we have um, this 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 thing. I don't know. <laughs> 159,000. Uh, that's probably the worst of the hot rods. Unfortunately, I just don't like it. Uh, this is one of the Chinese cars. This is a uh, this is a CT edition. So this was uh, 151,000 miles. This is uh, a nice uh, config for this bad boy right here. This looks looks pretty uh, pretty badassery right here. Uh, a little bit of cut through on the tires, but that's okay. Um, yeah, 151,000 miles. Just a little bit over that 150 mark. Uh, Lancer 57 Project X 140. That's a, that's a pretty good, you know, it's nothing but a frame. Uh, 140,000 miles though for a 57, that's not too bad. Uh, another Lancer, uh, various edition. Uh, Plymouth GTX, 123,000 miles. N another carbon art this, this is we did the carbon art have we we did the, we've done one of the we've done several of those so it's not even entertaining that uh cobalt we have done it was parked across the street there for a little bit 
the Volvo diesel. This is Valson 2040. 171,000 miles, so that's not even a thing. This is my bad boy right here at HQ Custom 119 Nissan Fairlady Z. Uh, I love that car. I just, it was fun putting that thing together in the country. You know. um, a Beamer at 87. This is just the car version I. I understand that. That's okay. A Range Rover back there we've done before. Um, yeah, it's a Chieftain TBX at a 198. Uh, another Mustang like we have in the shop right now. Um, it's running on 15s, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to put this bad boy on 18s probably. 18s is probably going to be my, my topped out tire on it. Uh, what was the miles on it? 154, so it's not even a... Uh, Duesenberg. This Duesenberg, I'm always looking to get one of these Duesenbergs, a uh, Mormon Meteor. But the, the miles are so high on these things. Uh, I can never get one under 150. Um, supercharged 241. Uh, I don't think Dodge Charger 85. No, I think uh, this is a Corvette Street Hunters. We have done that before. Um, DeLorean at 129. So, yeah, I think, and we have. We've got the stealth bone shaker. Uh, we did do a bone shaker. It is across the street. So we are going to go back over here and pick up that 300M. Um, these 300Ms just kind of remind me of like a mobster car. Uh, you know what I mean? So kind of a supercharged looking beast underneath there. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's got... Oh, man, it's got the tan, black and tan interior. I guess that'll have to work. I guess that's going to have to work. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not exactly what I was thinking about, but that's okay. I think we're going to uh, pick this up. What's the price tag on it? Oh, it's a good price tag. Six grand. 6602, and it's worth 851. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we're going to buy this car. We are going to uh, send her back to the garage. It's a 300C, not a 300M. I thought it was a 300M. All right, let's hit the garage and uh, see what we can do with this. All right, so the 300C. It's bad boy. I wish the interior was a different color, but that's okay. Uh, Got to work with it. Let's send her back to the car wash. Let's go ahead and strip down. Car parts I don't need on here. Take all this stuff off. Doors. Strip it down to, as we say in the Navy, parade rest. All right. Uh, that's all, right? All right, cool. So, yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope this video is funny. You all happy and healthy. Um, I think I'm going to try and do the underneath and the engine about the color of this interior. It's kind of like this tannish look. You know what I mean? Um, that might be a thing. I've, I've done it before, I believe. Um, I think that might be a th might be a thing. I might be able to do that. Uh, we'll take a look, though. Um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope this video was finding you all uh, doing well. I, mean, I don't get the whole gray. Why didn't it just it just needs to be tan too? This is just an awful looking interior on this thing. All right, we're going to do the best with it, I guess. <laughs> Just, I don't know what else to do with it. Um, but yeah, but it, when I see these cars, I feel like it's like the mobster cars, right? Um, I feel like they should have suicide doors on them. You know what I mean by suicide doors, right? It looks like they, they open up from the center, like the, the these open up to the, the front, and the back ones open to the rear, right? So there's, these would be suicide doors. And I always say suicide doors because... You know, if you open these doors up while you're traveling down the road, that door is going, ping, it's gone. <laughs> it is gone. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, so let's take a look to see what we can. The interior is going to be um, interesting. Let's go ahead and get, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Um, just to see what I have available. 
Uh, shop bench. Yeah, they're black. So. so and this kind of gets this wood thing going. Okay. So, really. Not much I can change here. I could probably ch paint the seats. I don't think I can change, change the seats. Uh, to a tan, but then it would be, you know, you got this, you got three colors going on in the inside here. But that's all right. I think I'm going to try and go with this whole uh, tannish color, much like I did uh, with one of the other cars, right? But this one is going to be a little bit, I think I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to play this. I think, um, I think I, I think I'm just going to go kind of like all black. I think it's just going to be black on black on black. I think it's going to be. Anyway, um, we're going to start ripping apart the rear end here. And I go and buy parts and get them all painted and everything. And then I will catch you guys in a few minutes. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, I believe I have all the parts I need. Um, I started taking this all apart. I was like, oh, I'm missing something. Uh, I don't remember what I was missing. So I'm hoping for the most part, I do have uh, all the parts I need for this thing. We'll, we'll see here in a few though. Let's see, shock absorber A. See, I knew right off the bat, shock absorber A. I picked up shock absorber Bs, you know. Um, that's just just my luck. We're going to keep them black though, so that's that's okay. It's it's not a big deal. Um, bushings are all from TK Aftermarket, so we're going to throw some TK Aftermarket bushings in there. Um, chrome to sway bar links, chrome to sway bar itself, and the rear suspension, uh, a, a tannish color, quite similar to the interior color. I think it's going. I think this is going to look good because I'll, I'll show you what I've got uh, planned right here. Uh, small bushing here. We're gonna do a hub. I think this is going to look really good. Um, at least I hope so. As a drive axle, I do not have two of those, so let's get a couple of those. While I'm thinking about it, and those have to be chrome because I don't have them. But this is what I was talking about right here: the spring cap and the spring painted red. Yeah, yeah, baby. Um, Put the disc brakes on here. We're going to go with the Brimbos, of course. And I left them red. I left them red and didn't even paint them this time around. I think they kind of look pretty good natural, kind of uh, kind of leaving it like that. Um, first time I think I've done it in this series is just left them alone and just kind of like went with it, right? So I've got to get, uh, let's see. Here. I've got to get a couple of these axles. So let me go ahead and... Grab two of these axles. Let me grab the. Uh, let's go back to the paint shop real quick, and I'll show you how to do chrome these things. Because someone may be questioning how I do it. So with these, basically you set it up, and then you go into your your uh, paint drop there. Go everything, and then you go with this. It would be chrome plated. It gives you the nice black bushing and chrome. So that's the way I do those. So that is the typical way I do those. And this is from the QOL, QOL mod. It helps you with the whole paint thing. But as soon as you do this, um, so you can go all chrome, but everything's chrome. And I don't like that. So yeah, this QOL mod right there. So there you go. Um, so if you don't have the QOL mod, you don't want to pick it up. A lot of people may not have it just because, you know, even even I, I will, I will tell you, I was a very... Uh, game purist, I guess you might say. I'm a game purist. I really didn't like the idea of uh, adding mods to a game. Micro um, Minecraft was the first game that I had started dabbling with as far as uh, mods. So I don't know if you uh, do Minecraft or not, but if you had followed a an individual uh, dire wolf um, what is this? Direwolf 21? Di Direwolf. Um, anyway, I've followed his blog there for a while, his YouTube series for a while, and he had, um, you know, they had put together 
combos of uh, modded Minecraft, and I would download those and I would play those. I mean, Skyblock. Um, it was just, just all those things. It was just, it was nuts. So that's when my first introduced me into doing it. And then, um, then after a while, I, I saw, you know, the ray tracing and, uh, happened to see how they were doing the, uh, oh, what is it? The, I want to call it Omni Fiber, but it's just, um, just, all the shaders and everything else on it. I was like, oh, this is me. I have to do it. So, and that's what I started doing. I started doing all that. So, um, yeah, lo and behold, I started modding my games little by little. I forgot to get that up there. Okay. Right now. Um, yeah. So we got that all installed. I think we've got the rear end pretty much settled up out back here. Um, so we we went with the whole tan and um, tan red and black aspect of it back here. So I think it looks pretty good so far. It kind of matches up with the interior with the black and the tan. Um, so now we're gonna rip into the front end here. I have not decided what I'm gonna do. Shock absorbers because I've goofed it all up. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the rest of the car yet, but I am thinking these wheels are not the same, of course, but I think you already know that. There is a rim DLC that's going to come out very, very soon if it's not out already. I just don't have it yet. I wish I had it already, but uh, I don't have it yet, but I'm sure, um, as sure as um, trees are tall, I will have it next episode. So... Catch you guys in a few. Let me rip this all apart, and I will catch you in a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right, much like the rear end, huh, I think I've got the front end pretty much taken care of. Went with the same black and red with the... If you take a look, the, the shocks in here have a little bit of a chrome look to them. I went ahead and took care of the underneath in here. Uh, nothing too fancy. Ah, Aaron take. Aaron take I stuff to do. Kind of got in a hurry with it. So, there we go. Not a big deal. We will get to it. So, yeah. Stay, sticking with the, the whole black and tan look. Um, it was at uh, Custom... I uh, can't remember the name of the car. But we did do this type of uh, paint scheme on that one as well. I think this one will actually look really good after it's done. Get some of this stuff in here. Let's take a look here. So if you take a look, the shock absorber right here is chrome. Right in there is chrome. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Gives it a little bit of realism, I guess, in a way. Um, let's see. Your sway bar. Making sure I had all my pieces because I thought I thought for sure I had all the pieces set up, and you know it's always a surprise going. Oh, I forgot that piece, but maybe I've got everything. I think I got everything. Again, sticking with the uh, bright red wooden buddies. Uh, nothing else. All right, cool. We're moving on to the other side. My throat's starting to get a little scratchy, so I'm hoping to get this done as soon as possible. Um, oh my gosh. Get that in there. Oh. There we go. Get that chrome piece in there. TK aftermarket front lower A arms, the McPherson A's. Those are the ones that go on here. So, yeah, we had to put those on there. I had to figure out which ones they were first and then uh, match them up and painted them. So, yeah, that was always, that's always a treat trying to match those up sometimes. But sometimes they don't look like they should match up and they do. And sometimes they don't look like they should match up and they do. So, did I say that twice the same way? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the medication I'm on. I don't know. Medicated. All right. Got, uh, all this is going together really well. So, for this DLC, this Chrysler DLC, we're going to hop things up a little bit. Okay. 
So we've got the whole tan and black thing going on right now. I've got to, uh, I took the engine out already. Um, so yeah, we've got that to take care of. Uh, no clip on there, so let's, uh, geez. Okay, so. Taken care of. Not a big deal, right? So the base, oops, base. Cover, clips, or a clips, and then we'll get the air filter. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wrong one, I think. Get that. A lot of air filters starting to look the same these days. So there we go. Got that filter in there, and there we. Out. But nothing but performance parts in it to get this thing scooting down the road because hey, this thing is a tank, right? It's gonna need every inch of horsepower it can get itself get that it can get, I should say, um, to get it down the road. All right, so the engine engine for this beast is a V8 Hemi 6.1. So that's the one we're gonna build. No swap options for this. So this is what we're gonna do. All right. I'm going to put everything I can into it with the uh, uh, high performance parts and then uh, bring it back together and we'll put it all back together, right? Okay, I'm going to throw some body parts on here as well just because, well, just because um, it needs it. <laughs> um, my workstation. So I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's anything we don't need. We're going to pick up everything. Interior's already in, so we're good with that. There we go. All right. Uh, I need to put the fenders and stuff on here just to make sure that my wheel clearances are going to work. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust some wheels on here just to see how this is going to work. Uh, while I'm building the engine. So I'm going to kind of go back and forth on that. Uh, just to see how the wheels are going to fit. This is a rear wheel drive car. So I will go with a slightly wider rear tire than I will on the front. Let's see how that looks. Uh, as long as I can keep it tucked up underneath there, I think it will be good. Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes with the engine built. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got this thing back together again. Oh, this is going to look pretty sweet in there, I think. Um, we went with an all red and kind of a black type engine. So let's see what it looks like in there. Ooh, -hoo, nice chrome, chromey and shiny. Um, while I've got this in here, I went ahead and did some of the fluids, not all of them. Um, I was able to do the brake, able to do the windshield uh, washer. So we're going to do this. Um, yeah, I, you know what? I didn't remember. Oh, okay. Because the oil is right there. Okay, that's cool. Um, I didn't, for some reason, when I was putting it together, I was like, where is the oil? So I threw it in here. Didn't even know where the oil was. Silly me, right? All right. So we've got that uh, oil. I think this is the last of it, right? So coolant got done. Brakes done. Steering. I think everything is done. All right, so everything underneath the hood is complete. Um, now for the wheels. Um, so, like I said, ah, get my gear. It's time to put these wheels. Now, what I did go with are the Bagini wheels. I had to go with the 315 on the back, and I went with a white wall on here because this car just kind of reminds me of a gangster car. Right, like I said, this kind of reminds me of that gangster look. Uh, 275s up front, 315s on the back. Uh, it stuck with the 20 inch wheel. So I didn't, oh no, I actually went a little bigger. I went with the 22s. So I went, uh, oh, hang on, did I do that right? So this, yeah, 22s all the way around. So 20 inch, we jumped it up two more inches. We went with 22s all the way around. And we decided to go with that whole mob. Mob boss gangster look. 
um, with the white walls on it and the blackened tires. Now, with that being said, I have to... That tripping over it. Um, some things I need to do underneath still. I need the transmission. I need... Uh, what do I need? I need... That's all hooked up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need transmission. So that's going to be a nice gear box from here. Um, um, yeah, I'll paint that sucker red. Paint it red. Had a couple of... Uh, it's good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be normal, everything. And then uh, this is the color I painted it. So actually, this is the color that is the Mustang right across there. Um, the red that I used on the underneath of the Mustang. I didn't realize until after I'd done it. I was like, uh oh, I must have, I must have a thing for that red. I like it. Uh, let's see. Starter and drive shaft. So let's go back here. Uh, drive shaft done. Uh, starter done. Not doing anything with those. These are just going to be regular pieces. Do the drive shaft black. Why not? All right. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves a perfect mobster car here. All right. Let's, um, I'm going to put this on the floor. Turn it all the way down. Um, it probably should sit about pretty square. That's it's pretty good. It's got a little bit of a rake to it, but not much. Um, I wasn't expecting too much of a rake. Uh, oh, I'm running out of license plates. Um, I'm not going to put the one on the back, on the front, I should say. There is one for the front, but I'm not going to put it on there. And these are the bikini wheels. I don't know if you can see them very well, but those are, those are going to be kind of classy looking on here. Um, I thought they looked, I thought they went on there pretty good, to be honest. All right, let me take this over to the, um, ah, to the test path, right? And let me get the lights and wheels lined up and I'll meet you over in the paint shop. All right, into the paint booth we go. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna go black. No doubt, gonna go black. All right, so the thing is, um, a gloss is nice, but what we are going to do is we're gonna go, the darker colors look really good in the chrome. It's a kind of a deeper look than the, than the glosses. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the chrome Chrome black. There we go. I think that's gonna look sweet. I don't think there's any. Let me go back here. Um, I don't think there's any any. Uh, yeah, there isn't any liveries for it. I didn't think there was. So that's that right there. Ooh, ooh. Black, the chrome, the red. Just little touches of red here and there, like little touches underneath there, underneath there. Um, Cause you get little touches in here with the SRT eight. Right, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I think I kind of like brought it together. I don't like the tan or the, the gray in there. That's okay. All right, let's take her over to the dyno. We do need to uh, tune the chip. So let's tinker with this bad boy for a little bit because this is, you know. Match. That. Here we go. Boom. There we go. All right. Applied. 16% increase. That's going to be nice. That's going to be some nice gains. Um, all right. Let's see what she'll do.
not bad. I think we've doubled the horsepower. 102%. We have doubled the horsepower. I think it's the first time I've seen that. Um, so now a drag rating of uh, 354, which is like a mid B. So not too bad for, for drag racing purposes. Um, this may be able to hold up its own, but it's like right in that mid level. Um, I do want to. Let's go ahead and take her back here because I do think I want to tint the windows a little bit more. Let's tint the windows. We are going to go tint. Uh, use it on this car. Uh, I'm going to go 45%. I think that looks good. Okay. Yeah. Heat it up on just a little bit. Just a little, just a touch. Right? Just a touch. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The 300C, Chrysler 300C, um, SRT8, the DLC Chrysler. So there we go. What do you guys think? Um, did my best to try to give it a little bit different look. I'm trying to give it that mobster look, right? Mob car look. With the bikini wheels, white, white walls. Um, let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section. Uh, hopefully by the time I get back, by the time you guys get back, I'll have these these things changed around. I can't promise anything, but I'm not feeling up to it. Uh, I might be able to get to it. I may not, but we'll give it a shot. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, and like I said, this is up to you now. Do I save it or do I sell it? Your comments below. Let me know, and I'll see you on the next episode of Rot to Rad. This is Quasar saying goodnight, everyone, and I'm out.